right. Good evening. Looks like I have my usual crew here. <laughs> How are you guys tonight? Happy Monday, Juan Carlo. Yes, uh, coming to an end too, which is which is kind of nice. I'm, uh... God, this camera sucks. Um, sorry, I am still tweaking some things here. It bothers me that it's not lined up with the uh, desk mat, but that's just me. Anyway, hey Forte, how are you? I will eventually get this lighting corrected where I don't have this shadow from the microphone here. Someday, when I'm not super lazy. Driving home. Uh, be safe, please. Uh, <laughs> don't rush for me, and uh, definitely don't hurt yourself. Don't don't text and drive, kids. That's my that's my honest opinion. Got a few people in here, which is good. Awesome. I love my normal crew. So, uh, goal for tonight, just hang out. Um, I'm gonna take this case apart, just talk a little bit more about the group buy since we're less than a day, oh, a day and a half away. Um, yeah, shit, Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday at, uh, at 11 a.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Central, 9 a.m. Pacific. Actually, 8 a.m. Pacific, right? 9 a.m. Mountain, 8 a.m. Pacific. And then I think 5 p.m. for those over in the UK. Uh, so yeah, apologies again too for the lack of additional vendors. Um, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to pick who you're buying from. So um, obviously if it makes sense to buy from Jay and Prototypist, do that. But if you feel like it makes more sense to buy directly from Taylor and myself at Eternus, go that route. Uh, whatever, whatever makes the most sense financially for you guys. Um, if you're in Canada or Mexico, buy from us at Eternus. Um, we'll handle the shipping because uh, UPS and USPS can both handle that. So yeah. But like I said, goal tonight, I'm gonna take this apart, go through it piece by piece. Um, yes, it just thudded on the desk. Uh, and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll have some uh, discussions, any questions you guys have about the board. Um, you know, like I said, I appreciate you guys being here. I am excited once again to um, be able to share this with everybody. Um, I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. I know, um, Ashton, aka Triv, got to type on it on uh, on Saturday uh, when I brought it to the meetup. So uh, actually, a couple other people who aren't in here, uh, they did, who aren't in the 40s. Again, I was the only 40s person at uh, at the meetup, so <laughs> that was fun. And uh, no one get me on the the discussion about the cesspool that is RMK at the moment because I'm so over that subreddit. I'm not gonna lie to you guys super over it um but yeah anyway so um i know you guys already know this four screws hold in the entire case so we'll go ahead and start oh jesus i really tightened that one up i'll start undoing these um m3 hex screws really really nice jesus i really I don't remember tightening them that much, but whatever. Um, but good screws and good hardware. I think that's key. Um, it turned out Blind Assassin used the same exact hardware for the SP Mini that I'll be building on Thursday. We are gonna build on Thursday, uh, if you did not see that update. So uh, looking forward to that. That should be a really fun build. I should have all the parts then. The rotary encoders will be here on Wednesday. The I had to order something off Amazon I forgot uh, to have for the build. 
What did I order off Amazon today? Something that I rushed for Wednesday. Something important, too. It was orders. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A USB-C to USB-C cable. <laughs> I thought I still had mine from C2, and apparently I did not. Um, so... Need that to actually do the build. Does the board come with an Allen key? And if so, could you just please not? <laughs> um, I, I maybe I should make Taylor put on the uh, order form and Jay put on like the order form on the website like a checkbox. I do or do not need an Allen's key. I know everybody has like a hundred of these, right? So um, if you don't want one, I, I will try not to send one to you. It's actually really funny. Um, as I talked about in the build stream originally, I've got four bump-on spots. Um, and they are made for these, um, these bump-ons. Uh, they're like six millimeter bump-ons. And if you wanna do your own and you wanna put like a longer feed or something like that, feel free. There are indents right under the bump-ons um, that I specifically put into there, so just FYI. I would literally pay you not to include it. <laughs> fair enough. All right, fair enough. Um, yeah. So I, I just, FYI, was trying some hobby foam, some cheap hobby foam in here. I don't think it really makes any difference on the sound. Um, I was just curious if it did or not. So um, it's up to you guys. What was the typing angle? Three, yeah, three degree typing angle. And again, uh, we came up with that because we figured it does well with Cherry Profile, tall keycaps, angled, um, and then obviously with a flat profile like DSA, KM, XDA, whatever you want to use, uh, that still feels really comfortable. So, um, but yeah, if you want to try the Hobby Foam, I suggest it. Um, like I said, I didn't notice a real difference or anything, but uh, it's funny that I'm, I've got the foam in there and yet I've the guy bitching about PE foam and the GMMK Pro, but that's a whole nother discussion. And reminder, uh, FSTS won't be on the wait. Um, I gotta make sure Taylor takes it out of the files before we send it, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and make sure that that's taken off and it'll just say oceanographer. Um, this weight has been, it comes pre-coated from the factory, so it's uh, anti-tarnish. Um, do you have any cam or cat handy? I actually don't. Um, I'm still waiting on Space Cadet. So uh, that'll be my first time typing on the profile. Um, so apologies, gnarly, I, I don't. But yeah. And so uh, this is this is also, I talked about this a little bit, why I'm not necessarily offering the polycarbonate besides it being a one-on-one -on -one gift. Um, these two mounting points are the only mounting points for the weight and so the the polycarbonate bends a little bit on the bezels and um yeah just fyi that's why that's why i haven't really done it in polycarbonate board wasn't originally designed for polycarb um if i eventually do i'm not promising anything if i eventually do a run for polycarb i will add four mounting points uh on the weight just to help um keep the case from bending No, it's all good. I picked out GMK sets for this anyway. Okay. <laughs> but I know, I'm assuming, like me, everybody's tastes will change weekly, daily, whichever makes the most sense for you guys. I love the cat profile for typing. Yeah, I, I still want to try it. Like I said, I'm waiting on Cadet. Uh, once Space Cadet gets here, which it looks like it comes into the port. Whoa, almost lost that. Um, September 11th out of all days. Um, yeah. I love cam for flat boards. Nice. So let me just talk about the weight real fast before we get into that. And I will, um, I'm going to open up the pearl to show you guys the similarities between the boards and what really inspired me. I know I talked about the pearl, um, but I'll open that up in a second. But either way, so you've got your weight here. Obviously, we had to cut into the weight for the USB-C. Um, that was important. I just wish they got their stuff together. Yeah, I know. And then you guys know about the design. Um, 
I, when I was at the meetup on Saturday, um, someone had a, a brass weight like this, and they infilled with um, gloss black acrylic paint, and it looked amazing. So I think I'm going to go that route. I think I'm going to do it. I think it would look really, really awesome. Cat's so smooth. <laughs> Damn, that weight is a chonker. Yeah, it is. Um, and I think I weighed it last time. And if I didn't, I'll do it again. So, sorry, let me start moving pieces here. We got a lot on my desk all of a sudden. Love the design. Thank you. Uh, thank Brooke, aka Meat Smoothies. Thank her for the design. She's the one that came up with it. Yeah. Three pounds, 3.9 ounces. 1,471 grams. So le legitimately, um, two-thirds of the weight come from the actual brass weight itself. So just be aware. And this is the bottom side of the case. You can see we made the indents for the uh, place to hold it. Um, you can see where the USB-C is milled into the uh, bottom of the case and obviously it's milled in the top too. We did dead center. So Yeah, that's basically cheating <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, the pills obviously I've talked about this that we use these pills Right here and here. There's um, on the underside Of the top case we have the matching pill spots here so you can line up Sorry, so you can line up your case and uh and it should look pretty close to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Pretty close to perfect. Basically, you won't have any any give um, in terms of alignment. That was our goal. There you go. There's a little bit of there's a little bit of play. Uh, we didn't want to make it so you couldn't close the damn thing. So um, as you screw in like one screw, then you can always adjust the other side. Um, but again, it helps just keep everything nice and tidy. And then of course the ship logo that Brooke also did. So, but yeah, so like I said, the, the Pearl was the main inspiration and I'm going to take the Pearl out here and show you these poor screws have been in and out of this board. I don't know hundred times they're starting I may have to replace this hardware actually which I'm not looking forward to oh good these are magnetic awesome it's been a long time since I've opened up this board actually Hey, and just for some feedback, do you guys like the, the borders I have on stream? I, I know someone mentioned it'd be nice to spruce it up a little bit. Can you still see everything okay? I just want to make sure everybody's happy with that. Oops, this screwed it. Oh, that always happens. All right. Yeah, stream setup looks fine. Okay, awesome, thank you. Um, so yeah, so I think you guys can see where I got the inspiration for the weight and how to do it with the tabs. Obviously, I went a little overkill in terms of size, um, but again, I wanted a heavy premium 40. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's exactly what I was trying to do was the same thing where you have your indents here and you can hold in. And then on the back side, you don't see that and it looks nice and clean is all part of the setup. And this weight could use a little br uh, brasso. Um, it's not protected like the oceanographer, so um, fingerprints and stuff end up tarnishing it. But uh, brasso ketchup actually works. Um, yeah. And then, of course, Kube went with the uh, the acrylic diffuser, which was smart. 
I like how the ocean weight is heavier than the pearl entirely. <laughs> yeah, um, again, I don't think that was originally my intention. I think we wanted just a heavy 40, but I, I think we went a little overboard, but uh, no pun intended. But I think that, uh, I think it works. And so, move this to the side. Got my two bottoms over here. Um, so you can see, you know, as I said, some a stupid amount of mounting points on the pearl. Um, and I was wrong. I said 14. I guess it's 12. Five on each uh, long side and then two on each uh, here. Is my math right? It's 14, right? No. Yeah, 14. Five, five, two, and two. So um, that's... I didn't want to do that many, and I figured with a brass plate, it would actually be good enough with six. So you can see where we did the the six mounting points compared to the Pearl, which has the um, 14. Like I said, it might be a little overkill, but um, it doesn't flex. It is a firm, firm typing experience. And then of course, uh, Coop chose to do RGB, and obviously I chose not to. Uh, just personal personal choice, um, unlike something else in this world. And uh, yeah, um, just figured didn't need RGB. I didn't hear anybody complain about it, so we just didn't do it. Um, if you want RGB in a later version, a round two, say something now or forever hold your peace. But I just don't plan on it. Although I talked about on my other stream that we considered a RGB knob. <laughs> I guess that's a thing. Uh, I was not aware of that, but Taylor said there is. We got 11 people in here tonight, thanks. Did you ever make a more opinionated plate file for Ocean, or is it just the one with the giant omnibus size bottom row cut out? Um, so no, we didn't. We didn't do a different um, plate file. But I guess the beauty is when we release the plate files after the group buy ships, um, feel free to do with them what you want. So if you want to do a different layout, if you want to do something within the constructs that fit in the ocean, um, I support it. And that's kind of cool, and I'll be interested to see what people come up with. You know, just like the, just like the minivan and all the variants now, um, I support innovation. Um, so, like I said, if you want to go get it made in Palm, and you want a different layout, or you want, you know, something other than what's available in this plate file, please feel free to do so. Um, I, I, again, I totally, totally support that, and I think that's that's cool. With the OLED, there's really no need for RGB. Yeah, I would agree. Um, and the indicators coming up through uh, through here look really, really nice. So you'll get no uh, no arguments from me. I'll show you guys the plate. Talk about some of the adjustments we made between the first prototype and then this one. Should have kept one of the, I should have kept my prototype board. Um, but I just didn't. I had to sell it to fund some other things. Um, but as you can see, Beppo has it, and it is in good hands with Beppo, and I'm glad he built with the FR4 plate. Um, so don't forget, you, you will get an FR4 plate with this. So if you if you don't want brass for whatever reason, um, you want to do something else, FR4, like I said, afterwards do Palm, something like that, please feel free. Um, but yeah, or originally on this plate, we had... Um, the brass come all the way over here. It was like there's just a big solid piece and we realized that the OLED was sitting on top of the brass and it might cause shorts. So we went ahead and did a big cutout there. Um, still maintaining, like I said, it, it maintains pretty good rigidity. There's a little bit of flex, but I, I think that you're not going to, when you type on it, you're not going to feel it. You're not going to feel any flex. So maybe FR4 might be up your alley. Like I said, palm... Um, what else is popular these days? Um, a couple options. If you want to do copper, copper might look cool on it, on this board, actually, if it, if it peeks through. Um, stainless steel. I don't think I'd recommend stainless steel. I think it doesn't sound good, personally. 
Um, but yeah, we, you know, just trying to, trying to offer simple options. Yeah, Palm. I, I think Palm is the play if you, if you're looking for some more flex for sure. And then, uh, as I talked about previously, we, we had multiple step downs, polypropylene. Okay. Um, and we, we simplified the design in here, both for ease of machining. Um, sorry, I was not showing that. God. Ease of machining and, uh, and sound profile. Um, I think with the brass plate, there's still like just, I mean, like literally you have to like hold, hold the thing up to your head. Um, there's a tiny bit of ping, but I think again, it comes from the fact that there's a lot of space underneath the board. Um, and we just tried to minimize a lot of that, but it's, it's really like, it's barely noticeable. And then of course I did the, did the blocker on the case cause just want to be unique. I really like PC and if I could get a translucent PC cut, it would look good with indicators. Agreed. Agreed. Um, you should be able to get that done for sure. But overall, like I said, uh, on my design stream, um, just want to keep the thing simple, just simple, not overdo it. It's my first design, right? Um, and, and just make a board people like. And apparently you guys all like it. You're here. You've been here for my streams, and I appreciate it very much. So um, I'm happy I could provide, or at least seem to provide so far. And I'm, like I said, I'm very excited for those of you that buy it. I want to hear feedback. I want to hear what you guys do in terms of builds. What type of switches? That, that's a great question. What what switches are you guys going to build with? Or that you, plan, you think you plan to build with? Are you going to go linear, tactile, clicky? Um, and if so... Do you know what switches in those you're gonna do? Simple, but also an LCD and rotary encoder and vial support. And yeah, I know, I know. Um, I meant from a design standpoint, right? And I don't think, um, I don't think that a rotary and LCD is is anything that's extremely out there um, in terms of ease of use for for people who get this board like the idea is that it should be pretty easy to uh program and take care of so i'm probably gonna go cream packas on that brass plate um i'm assuming that's novel keys creams plus like alpacas or is it like a pack of housing and cream stem or is it the other way u4t on a plastic plate uh nice okay some tactiles on a plastic plate i was gonna go i was going actually going to ask if you thought black inks would go well with the board i actually do um i think personally that this board sounds good with linears and i like black inks i always have liked them um actually i with all the with all the popular switch options now i think they kind of get forgotten a little bit um they are such a good switch and when they came out I remember them being like one of the smoothest. Now everybody's like, oh, we need the, what is it, the umpwee, umpwee stems or whatever. Um, and really, like, black inks are kind of forgotten how good and smooth they are out of the box, and then you lube them, and they're amazing. So, I don't know. Um, oh, yeah, this is... So the, the clearances are tight with this weight. We, we did tighten them up significantly with the case. So you may have to... Uh, you may have to slide the back piece on like that first and then kind of like flip it over like that. I think that's the best way to do it. Cream stems and JWK housings. Interesting. Okay. And Darth, you love them lubed and filmed. Yeah. Um, I had them in... I can't remember which board I had them. I actually, I had them in a pearl. <laughs> I couldn't think of it. Um, one of my other pearls. Uh, my red pearl that I had had lubed and filmed um, Gat inks, black inks, and they were, I love them. Maybe just swap the JWK bottom onto the creams. Yeah, I um, I like the JWK uh, milky bottoms. They're nice. Um, like I said, I've got the yellows in the elephant. And um, people at the meetup said they really, really like the sound of that board, so. Obviously, I did something right. And that's a, as I said, elephant's a top mount brass plate. So maybe I maybe I should have done JWK yellows 
or I should do JWK yellows for this one. I really like the umpway stems. I say umpway, umpway, whatever you want to call them. It's in cherry housing, so bum wipes. <laughs> That's a good name for those bum wipes. Um, yeah, which I'll I'll take suggestions for switches for this build. I know I already quote built it, but I'm really pleased with the um, Oreos or Durox or whatever these are in the polycarb board. Um, and I actually just took out the silent alpaca at the today and put another of the Oreos in here uh, for the space bar because I didn't like the thud sound that was coming from it. It was just kind of meh. I put bum wipes in my packer. I'm I'm not even gonna go there gnarly with the whole name of that board, <laughs> the the real name. <laughs> bum wipes in your poo 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 whatever PP carnival board. Speaking of poo poo and PP, when did Reddit or RMK become such a freaking cesspool? I don't understand. Like, I was in that GMK Pharaoh thread today, like literally an hour ago. And um, I get it, that guy's advertised that set a lot. Um, it's a nice set. I'll probably buy into it. But straight up, man, like. People are are standing for clones that are already getting made in this dude's thread. And I'm like, what the, f what the hell is wrong with you guys? And where were you when Hub was around? Like, why is it okay now to steal colors, but it was not okay when Evan was trying to do Hub? Someone explain that to me, please. Oh, I forgot the phone. That's all right. Yeah, MK was always a cesspool. Uh, I don't think it was. I think, um, I think like two years ago, three years ago, it was fine. You know, yeah, there was always your elitist, but uh, it was never that bad. But it seems like lately, I'll say something controversial. A lot of the new people really have a victim complex, and it's really annoying uh, to see the trends change now. Because these people stand for Zambimon and then just buy clones of his instead. Yeah, uh, I believe they do. <laughs> um, it's so disappointing. It really is. I just, I don't like where the hobby is headed. Um, but I love our 40s crew. I do. And I think that we have a, we have such a good. That's just my shelf. Um, we have such a good community. Sorry. I know you guys don't want to stare at my shirt. Cognitive dissonance is a sign of intelligence. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I think I'm just I think I'm just disappointed in the way that the hobby is headed for the general population. I know, uh, like I said, I got I got downvoted to Oblivion just yesterday, this weekend, um, because I I said it's disappointing. You know, someone posted a. Uh, GMMK Pro, and their title was literally, I've spent four months modifying it to get it to sound this way. <laughs> I was like, God, like four months, and they did foam and tape mod and holy mod and like took out um, the the um, standoffs, and, and it's just, it's like, man, you shouldn't have to, you know, you shouldn't have to spend $200 or whatever it costs to get the board and then spend four months trying to make it sound good. Like, you should have a good product. And uh, a bunch of people downvoted me, even though I was like, I wasn't saying you shouldn't have a, um, you shouldn't have an entry-level board. You should have entry-level boards, but they should be better, especially if they're coming from a company like Glorious. And as Kane said the other day, a lot of these vendors need to start taking on some of these costs and um, giving them back to the consumer because... It's it's insane that we're still paying so much um, for subpar products, in my opinion. All right, Cree, I appreciate it. Have fun gaming. Uh, for those that don't know, Lightning is um, a fellow streamer. I've known him for a long time. Um, 
and we've played a lot of games together. I'm on a Warzone break until they until they bring back uh, the standard core mode of BR. The uh, buyback is no fun, so it'll be at least Thursday before I play again. But Thursday I'll be I'll be streaming the SP mini build. So um, yeah. But thanks, Cree. Appreciate that. So do we know what color ocean we get we're getting guys? Are we are we decided on that or how many are you waiting until you actually click the submit order button? Purple. Yep. Purple is very popular. That's for sure. Um, just struggling with keycaps. Yep. Purple seems too nice. Uh, I hope you guys don't sleep on green. Just FYI, green is going to look amazing. Um, there's going to be there's going to be some people that sleep on green. I actually I know a lot of people had put rose gold. I haven't seen anybody openly say they want rose gold. So I'll be interested to see who who gets rose gold. Cam, <laughs> green gang here. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, that should be good. Um, do you know what you know what key set you're going to go with on green? Because I know green's a little harder sometimes to match. By the way, big shout out to Judge Judy Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> I did not get to thank you for the follow earlier, so if you're here, I appreciate it. Apologies that I think you followed right as I was getting ready to fire up the stream, so thank you so much. Grand Tour, I think. Good choice. Good choice for sure. Um, actually, speaking of Grand, I, I slept on GMK Grand Prix, and I did not get into that, and I highly regret it. Um, I think that'll be a really good set. Grand Tour will be good too. Um, and as Kane said, I think... I think guys should start buying into more GMK sets and then just forgetting about them, pretending they don't exist. So I think that'll be, I think that'll be my strategy going forward. Um, I'm less concerned with the flip and uh, more so I don't want to get something and then or not get something and then regret not getting it and then having to pay aftermarket because that's always a bitch, right? I didn't realize I was uh, I didn't realize I was streaming while Jay was on top like I hope I'm not trying to take any viewers or anything like that so um, but now it's time to show you guys something to upset you been working on a side project let's see if I can get this done right so you may have to bear with me here as I add some sources um, display where's display display capture monitor one add source oh yeah so bear with me here i'm trying to get this all set up but you can see what i'm working on hope it doesn't upset y'all oh this isn't working all right we'll just do that for now <laughs> so who's upset Is that a full size? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Edgy, that is too many keys. <laughs> Camburger, what are you? What are you putting all those spots? Yeah, I'm um, sorry, I didn't realize that was the center. So, yeah, I'm I'm working on a uh, full size. Bear with me here as I get all this corrected. Sorry, I'm trying to get this the right size here. Oh my god, this is a str this is a struggle, boys. We're struggling. There we go. Um, I can actually shrink this down to the display window, which is funny too. Oh, we are struggling tonight. Doesn't even fit. Okay. Anyway, go back to full screen so you guys can see that. Sorry. So yeah, this is a full size. Uh, the reason I wanted to start working on a full size. Come on. Is uh, I think there's an untapped market for it. 
honestly. Um, and, and I think that I want to make something that's uh, reasonable, but that new people can come in because like a lot of times I see new people man I really I really want a full size I don't want a TKL with a separate numpad or you know you hear all the time I can't live without my numpad or I can't live without my arrow keys or navigation and um, I think it'd be good to just make something that is actually usable but not cost $500 to do um, and legitimately i had a discussion with a couple of the guys at the carolina meetup and we talked about how we think there's this just kind of untapped market that exists so uh the goal for me here is to have something that's reasonably priced a nice full-size custom true full-size do like a badge up here something like that um do something nice with the bezels round them off nicely this is just the top um i'll probably go top mount i think it's an easy way to do it i can maybe gasket mounted a little bit i don't know um but this is the early stages and just kind of figured i'd show you guys upset you a little bit because it's not a 40 so yeah melon that's what i'm working on um tentative, tentatively named after my daughter um but i think that'll change before before all is said and done and hello how are you <laughs> um sorry you missed us taking apart the the ocean already i did that pretty early but um, figured I'd show this off a little bit, so. And if anybody's curious, Fusion is super easy to work in uh, once you get the hang of it. I hope that some of you guys give it a try. Um, like, this is stupid, but um, the, I don't even know what it is. The, here, give me a second. The, um, in the toilet, in the actual tank of the toilet, there's the pipe that runs up so that basically it stops filling um and that piece like cracked at the top and i was like oh man what do i do and i have a 3d printer so let me design a piece to be put on top of that and fix it um so if you guys get in a fusion and then you get a 3d printer there's a ton of real world examples that you can actually use this stuff i actually screwed up this design it needs to be bigger um it's relatively small but um, like I can even show you from start to finish like how this works, which is really cool. So I actually remember it's 20, 28, but I'm gonna go 30, 30, 28, 26. Uh, those were the, the dimensions. So if I, um, if I scrap this, let's do this. Let's, um, and I don't know if you care, if you guys care to see, if you guys don't wanna see this, just say something now, uh, but I figured it'd be cool to show you guys what this looks like real fast and how easy it is to start doing just basic stuff. So let's do it new. Um, I don't remember if this is editable or not, so let's go here. Um, this isn't it. I need editable documents. Huh. Oh, seven of 10. Okay, so we're good. So um, basically, if I wanna start a design, Start with a sketch. Oops, uh-oh. Let's get ourselves reoriented, there we go. So I'm gonna start on a plane. I'm gonna make a circle. We're gonna go 30, mil 30 millimeters. So I have that. I'm going to extrude it. I knew the last one was six millimeters, it was too short. I needed to do about 18 to get exactly what I wanted. Um, and then the rest here is, is easy, right? So do another sketch on this plane, do another circle, this is 28. Okay, I know exactly what I want there. Now I know from the bottom, I need 25 millimeters uh, to come down, which is gonna sound funky. So do a new uh, finish sketch, new sketch. So what I'm gonna do is extrude that up. We'll do 16 millimeters, that should do it. I think I did this backwards, but that's okay. I'm gonna take the 
this. Extrude. Yeah, I did this backwards. Oh well. That happens. By the way, here's how I get a cylinder. Um, and I can actually do this from the bottom. Like I said, I hope oh, I hope this isn't uh, boring you guys. But you can at least just see how easy it is to get through fusion. Yep. And then I want to take Uh oh. Uh oh. I think I screwed up. I said it was easy and then I screwed it up. Go figure. Alright, let's do this instead. Let's change this to 28. And then we're going to extrude up uh, 2 millimeters. There we go. And then sketch. So every time I'm clicking sketch, I'm creating a new. Uh, a new drawing basically. Now we can do 25 and we can extrude this down and then I can go to the object here. There we go. So now I've created basically, I've created a cap where I can, I print this way. Basically I print from the bottom up and I've created where I flip this over when I put it on it, it's got a top basically. So, um, Simple, simple, easy. I'm gonna save this. Toilet, flusher, valve, save. And then all I have to do is export. We're gonna export STL. And then I'm gonna let it, this takes forever. I'm gonna let it do this thing, so. Um, I don't know if you guys found that interesting. Darth says it is, that's cool. So like, that's the basis for for keyboard design too, right? Um, you you start with a rectangle and then you go from there. And obviously there's, as Kane talked about, you need PCB design, you need it all cohesive. But the general basis is you know that a, um, a keycap fits in a 19 millimeter by 19 millimeter square. Keycaps are 18 millimeters, but you do 19 by 19 for the space. And that gets you your clearances like here on the ocean, right? So 19 times 12.75, you do the math, oops. Two 242.25. So you know that from the inside to the inside of this bezel is 242 and a quarter millimeters. Um, and, and basically because you do everything in half from quarter units, you can just go that way so making like a making a keyboard i don't want to make it sound easy but like if you guys get fusion and you want to start doing it it's it's relatively simple um i'll close i don't want to close that out once it's once it's done exporting i can take you through a rectangle if anybody really genuinely cares um i'm happy to do that and show you just kind of get the the basis of the idea i did i did make a um a pearl case before Kube was doing R2. I didn't know, um, but I did do a pearl case. Let's see if I can pull that up. I don't know where I put that. There's the baby grand stuff. Jet band. Naker case. There it is. Close that out. Should, that should still be exporting. Um, so this you, this actually might interest you guys a little bit. Um, let's go back and share that. Can you guys see that? So I was trying to create a case um, for the Pearl replacement uh, PCB. And this is what I came up with at the time. Um, I don't know how cool it looks now that I look at it, but I was just trying to do something kind of different and play around. Um, would still have the acrylic for the RGB, have this nice little angled bottom, but I literally was trying to have a, a direct replacement. Um, but like I said, I don't know if you guys care or not. <laughs> um, 
So you can see that there's all my mounting points. Just like the Pearl has the HHKB stuff. So. Anyway, Fusion Fusion's relatively easy. Highly suggest if you get a chance to, to download it um, and start learning to make your own stuff because it leads to things like this. <laughs> um, and and that's, that's always one of my favorite things. It's pinging me on Discord. Oh, it's... Uh... What's up, Ashton? How are you? So what do you guys want to talk about? What do you want to see? What can I answer for you? Like I said, tonight was just kind of going to be low-key, short. I don't know how long I'm going to hang out, but, um, you know. Uh-oh. You guys still there? I got a network error on Twitch. You guys still there? I am good. I'm good, Ashton. Thanks, appreciate the new graphics love. Just trying something. If you guys don't like it, then I can always revert back, but awesome, still here. Okay, literally Twitch was like network error, reboot. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> that wouldn't have been fun. If the if the uh, 3D printer wasn't so far behind me, I'd fire that up, and we could print the uh, print the flusher valve that I made um, just now, which should be done exporting here shortly. That would have been cool, but it's also loud too. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, uh, the printer is not quiet. I don't know how many of you guys have a printer. Anybody? One question about the group, are you going to do a breakdown of the colors like the pearl? Um, how, how so? What do you mean, Ashton? And Dar says, I'm new to the OLED. How, how would that work with programming? So um, the OLED stuff is actually still new to me a little bit, but basically um, we're going to include the base animation in the firmware. And then um, there's a couple of... There's a couple of uh, different tutorials, uh, how to make your own stuff, um, but I think we're gonna include the animation and then the base layer information too. So you can pick which one you want, uh, but it's all part of the um, firmware on the back end. If you need help with that, once once it ships, we'll be happy to help, because I know you can't do it in QMK Configurator. That actually has to be done in like um, code writing or code writer, so. I just tried to convince the boss lady to get a printer. Yeah, <laughs> um, Ender 3 is only like 165 bucks. It's pretty cheap, and you can get material for like 20 So for less than 200 you can get a printer. Uh, I do want to try and design an angled version of the artisan box you gave me. Okay, that's, uh, that's pretty easy. Um, squares, just all squares. <laughs> uh, just a breakdown of numbers of colors, pot and stuff. I remember you said you liked that about the Pearl Group I. Yeah, I'll probably, after the Group I completes, I'll probably, you know, say, hey, there were this many of each color sold. We're going to buy extras, right? Because we have to account for anything that shows up and becomes B stock. Um, but yeah, absolutely. They just, they won't be serialized, right? Yeah, that's okay. Um, but we'll still have, hey, there were 10 black, you know, 10 black, 30 purple. 20 greens, whatever. Um, you know, I'm I'm actually really curious. It, I feel like I missed a hype window a little bit with this board. Um, at, you know, when I when I did the interest check in January, we had like 350 responses to the IC form. Nothing like the Cajal, uh, but we had a ton of responses. And now when I did the most recent interest check, there was only 120-ish responses. So... I'm very curious. You know, my goal is to sell 100. That's like my own personal goal. Um, if we get close to like 200, that'll be a miracle. But I think there are also some people in the background who uh, may end up buying this board and, and I just don't know it yet. Or they already filled out one interest check form and they don't want to fill out another. So I'll be very curious to see how that breaks down. 
uh, but I'll be happy to say, hey, there's this many of each color, and that's the breakdown so you guys know. Because I always, I always know it's fun to, to find out how many of, of each were bought. Um, Pearl was special. I think, I don't remember how much Cube told me what it was to do the weights serialized, because he had to do it for each one, uh, but I know it was stupid, stupid expensive and really added to the cost of his group buy, so that's something we, we want to avoid for sure. Yeah, it, it absolutely, you can imagine for sure. <laughs> um, but yeah. Ashton, did you end up keeping the, did you end up keeping an artisan from the, uh, the meetup? I did. You guys didn't see, this is my artisan box. This was, uh, this was cool. I really, really loved the PC, but I think I might try and swing the black, not sure. Yeah, I think black uh, black might be underrated too. Black is really, really good. Um, but yeah, they, they um, I guess one of the guys that showed up to the meetup makes artisans. Um, and this is one he gave away to the meetup, which I thought was cool. It's different, it's unique. Goes in with my box of ETF stuff, which all of this except for bottom row is for sale. So if you wanna, if you're interested in buying some artisans from me, just hit me up. These two are temperature reactive. So that's always cool. Your love for the pearl always makes me regret selling mine back when I couldn't appreciate 40s as much as I do. Appreciate that. Yeah, um, I, it's a, it's weird because I liked the pearl for a long time and then I got my first one and then I, I had a moment where I had like three at one time and it was just kind of too much. And then uh, I stumbled upon the orange one and um, because, because I like the pearl so much and because I knew that the orange was rare um, that kind of became the one I, I wanted to keep for sure I think I regret selling the red one there were only seven red ones and that red one was like super flawless um, I was just having a problem matching key sets to it it was either like black on white or something along those lines but um, yeah I think my wife's down here T are you down here Okay. <laughs> my wife's organizing. We have a storage room in our basement here, and my wife's organizing in there. So, yeah, you're not a camera. Hi. Love you. All right. Bye. <laughs> I'll see you in a little while. <laughs> that orange is so pretty for sure. Yeah, it is. And I, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, so good. Uh, which. It's weird that it kind of started my like for orange boards in general, which speaking of, got to take out the switches out of the hole. Uh, we'll replace them with some strawberries for now. Um, but because because we're going to use the Gateron Limbos for the SP Mini, which I have my other ones I lubed the other night, my nice little specimen cup. Um, this, this is going to make some of y'all cringe. Don't look. Oh, I can't do it as easy with the uh, Gateron switches. Never mind. Um, a lot of these, I don't. I feel like I don't need keycap pullers. Some of them I do. I know that that bothers some people though. But these limbos are actually really nice once they're looped. So if anybody gets a chance to try these, um, I think Alas might have some. But they're really, really good. Um, I'm. I like these a lot actually, and I'm not a big tactile person. I. They're just, they're kind of more well-rounded and definitely feel super, super nice. Which I thought about putting this, uh, this set of keycaps on the Purple Pearl. I might do that still. Which, by the way, should I do, um, should I do Nautilus? or white on black for the SP Mini, which remember is smoked polycarbonate. Um, I think either one will look good, but part of me says do Nautilus. Yeah, the hole was fun to type on. It was super nice to try tactiles at the meetup. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm glad you came. I know you didn't have a whole lot to share, but I'm really glad that you came. Um, and kind of get a feel for a lot of boards. 
And like I said, I'm planning a meetup for Atlanta in early 2022. Um, but I want it to be a huge meetup. So if you're in the stream and you can make it, I know Sofa can't, but if you're in the stream and you can make it, I think it'd be good. Typing on Nautilus right now. That's my vote. White on black is more classic, but not would be my would be my would be a good combo. I agree. I think I'm gonna go Nautilus. I did I did buy some knobs that are who says I can't. This is true. You could fly down. Um, I did buy some knobs that are blue and yellow, um, and I've got a black and white one, so we can do either or. By the way, these are KTT strawberries, and if you have not had a chance to type on these, these are stock. And they are super smooth. They're factory lubed. Uh, they didn't overdo it. There's like no stem wobble whatsoever. Um, I am a huge fan of these switches. So if you get a chance to type on those or get some and have a hot swap board, highly, highly recommend try giving these a, sh a shot. Um, they're super, super nice. They sound good. They really don't need anything, which is great. And uh, Alas turned me on to these. She gave me, um, she let me try them in her. MHKB that was S SLS printed, SLA printed. Maybe next meetup I'll have a more complete board to share. Yeah, like I said, don't feel bad, man. Um, you brought something and you want to come see what's out there and that's what's awesome. Ooh, Darth, that is a fantastic idea. One side not and one side white on black. I think I'll do the... Uh, I think I'll do the right side Nautilus because you got those nice little yellow accent keys, and uh, we'll do the left side black on white, and we'll let the we'll let the streamers decide. Which we should have some more people for that stream. Um, I made a post in the Mech. Damn it! <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, switch is gone for other. I made a post in the uh, Mech Keyboards USA Facebook group today. Specifically said, hey. Break out of your normal keyboards. Come check out this 40s energy, 50%. I'm going to build it on Thursday. And some people seem really interested. So um, we may have some more people in stream, which would be cool. I think that'd be fun and let the streamers decide, or let the uh, viewers decide. And we can go from there. So that should be really awesome. And like I said, I am looking forward to that build. That will be a fun build. I tested, or... I should say, um, I tested the PCB today, one half. Um, certain keys did not register, but like they were all the top, like whatever the F or number row is. So I have to ask blind if that's normal. Um, I know there were some issues with some PCBs, so I'm hoping that it's just, they're not programmed from the start. Um, I tried VIA, VIA didn't pick up the board, so may have to just go QMK. Have you guys messed with Via yet? I have not. I have not touched Via yet, really. But I know a lot of people like the uh, on-demand changing. Although once I set my layouts, I, I rarely need to change anything. is nice but i like vial way better um i think tj was messing with vial on in the 40s discord the other night um it's it looks a little more familiar like qmk right it's got kind of the same key codes ashton you haven't tried out qmk yet <laughs> man i cut my teeth with qmk i had no coding experience beforehand but like qmk was a sh it's it is a sharp learning curve if you're not using the configurator, that's for sure. It's a, it was a struggle for me. I've used it for all the boards that I have for just getting into the hobby and learning like how I like my setups, it's easier for me. Darth, I assume you're talking about Vile or QMK. I tested the Matrix and it was fine. I don't think that those top keys are mapped okay okay that that makes me feel a little bit better i'm still gonna build it even if it's a bad pcb i don't think it is i think it's probably they're just not mapped so thank you 
Oh, I didn't realize it was you, Zeus. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Via. Okay. Gotcha. And how are you? How are you tonight, Zeus? I shouted you out on my uh, on my stream the other night when I was showing off the board. Uh, I said you were a G for selling at group by price. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, I'm excited to build the board. A lot of people have said really good things, so I genuinely appreciate that. Thank you. You are you are a G for sure. Kind of funny. I started my CS career with C. And never used QMK just because the only boards I've had were via Compat. Okay, that makes sense. So I've talked about it. I'm not a programmer. I'm a I do general sales um, for software. So a lot of this was brand brand new to me, and I'm kind of the outlier in this hobby. I'm doing fine. I didn't catch that live, but I watched the VOD. Thanks. Nah, man. You're welcome. Like I said, you are a G, and uh, I really, really appreciate it. There are still some good people in this hobby. I still try to be one of them. Yeah, I'll try to make a little money sometimes, but if someone's truly a good person, I'll sell at list price, not make any cash. Um, and I think I think that's an important part of our hobby that a lot of the new people don't understand, you know. Um, the user, uh, Japanese Horror Writer on Reddit, um, that guy's awesome, and every time he does a sale, he does very, very reasonable prices, unless it's like a super high demand item, um, and and his one rule is don't flip. We're friends until you flip, and um, I like him a lot, and I've done a lot of business with him. Like I said, I bought Nautilus off him, and it was 180 bucks, and that's R1 with the van compact. That's a huge deal. Uh, he didn't have to do that for me, but he did because he's an awesome guy, and um, he said he's going to buy Ocean, too, so that's exciting. What'd you guys think of the sound test today? Just out of curiosity, I know it's on the polycarb board. It really doesn't sound any different than the aluminum, but what'd you guys think of that? And do you find Instagram to be an effective um, sharing and marketing tool? I'm still trying to figure out if it's actually worth putting in the effort to make reels and stories and all that fun stuff. I wasn't here for it. For the uh, sound test, it's on it's on Instagram. It's actually linked in the uh, in the oceanographer channel. Just FYI, it is it's up near the top. There's a lot of conversation today, so I'm in the minority. I don't have Insta. Okay, I understand. I try to I try to limit my social media a little bit. Playing the algorithm isn't easy. Yeah. Um, that was the other part I noticed, Sofa, is I, I did a reel last night with the PC Ocean, and like the first hour, it had like 3,900 plays, and then that was it. <laughs> it's been nothing since, so I feel you on that one. It's definitely a unique tool, and if you don't know how to, as you said, play the algorithm, do the catchy shit your stuff doesn't get viewed um i did have a, like 60 some odd likes but no comments after that but yeah for what it is i think insta and it can be really good marketing tools yeah they can um i still have questions about legitimacy of like how many of those people are bots um, how many are, you know, real people? And, and sometimes I'm curious about that. Yes, I still count my keycaps to figure out where they go. How many of you guys watched that video of uh, Teha and that new, the new um, 40, what is that? The, the PC one, and he was struggling with key compat, which was kind of funny. Speaking of Insta, if you are into ETF artisans, they just posted a Bomb King, or at least something new. Yeah, the Neko. Yeah, um, that was that was kind of funny watching him struggle with that a little bit. 
think that went there. I'll double check where that went. I mean, the board sounded nice. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it was, it was like when Jay built the oceanographer and he didn't, he didn't understand. And he was like, you know, yeah, key, key caps key, aren't going to fit, you know, combat. And it's like, well, duh. I think this was Ray's here, even though it wasn't actually Ray's. The real question is, how many of you guys match your actual legends to what they really are? It was pretty funny when he unironically said, how do you type numbers? Well, yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I think, I think you know, these guys who are who don't normally deal with 40s get handed these boards and they don't get a key map beforehand and they don't know, you know, where it is. And obviously, if you don't do like a tap hold on enter or wherever, you assume it's raise or function, which for me personally, doing like a inward function here for numbers like it's really uncomfortable which is why when i do it it's here it's at my pinkies layer one layer two right base layer layer one layer two layer three like has nothing on it um but oh i try my best my only 40 pretty much only uses one u keys oh are you ortho darth Yeah, inward thumb is not comfy for me. Yep, same. Besides the space bar. Really trying to find something to fit ocean. I hear you. Oh, it goes this way? Yeah. Um, oh, we're viewing 41. That's a good board. I like that board. Yeah, Triff, for tap hold on enter, uh, make sure you understand when I say tap hold, I mean like tap for enter hold for layer one um i talked about it a little bit on my last stream on the ocean i need and actually i i had it happen today when i was trying to trying to do that announcement about the knobs um sometimes that i gotta set the i think it's the debug because if i if i tap and not hold long enough um i end up either hitting enter or not getting the number and that's exactly what happened today so i didn't end up getting the uh the right message out at first, which is kind of funny. But yeah, these linears are great. Tap hold on my space, I like it so far. Yeah, and like I said, for me, I don't like, I don't use the left space bar. I, I don't, um, in fact, I think I just keep it mapped to space in case I decide to game on a 40. Um, and, and the tap hold on enter came from Evan on I think the original minivan layout. So, that's how that's how I ended up like oh tap hold here we go tap hold you know for layer two um, I purposely put layer three and like reset on opposite sides of the board so I don't accidentally hit it um, I used to do that where I'd like hit layer three unintentionally and manage to somehow find my way to reset um, so I, I purposely don't do that anymore they're they're as far apart as possible so that in the real world I'm not gonna hit both as I do that. All my symbols um, are across home row. So even layer one or layer two, all my numbers are here. These are symbols here. That's a little bit more of a stretch. I may end up changing that. Uh, layer two plus top rowers like shifted symbols. Um, it becomes kind of a pain. So I still, I still haven't figured out a perfect way to do that. And then this truly is control. So control T, C, V, X, Z. Um, which when I found out people use that for control, that was like a life changer for me. Like, even though this says escape and tab, this is tab and control. And this is escape. So don't kid yourself. Uh, legends don't mean Jack Diddley squat for me, usually. They look pretty. And that's really the reason I didn't want just all gray down here. I was like, I definitely want the pink. I want the yellow, right? Um, but that's the beauty of 40s. You're gonna find what makes you happy. <laughs> that makes me happy. FR4 plate on this sounds amazing. I love control in that spot. Yeah, and like I said, I know a lot of people put function there too. Um, it's just your, your personal preference. What, what makes you happy? There we go. 
So like I said, expected short stream tonight. Um, is there anything else you guys want me to talk about? You know, like I said, we get the build Thursday. Hopefully the rotary encoders get here in time. Hopefully the knobs get here in time. I guess if they don't, I can use a smaller knob and we'll just deal with it. Um, but thanks to Darth, we'll do right half Nautilus, left half white on black, and we'll let the people choose after that. Maybe leave it on for like a um, Jekyll and Hyde type board. <laughs> Anything we should know that we haven't asked. You know, that's one of my favorite uh, lines of questioning um, when I talk to customers. Is there anything else I haven't asked you? Uh, I think I've covered almost everything. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm looking forward to being able to offer an, a really awesome board for you guys. Um, I think we, we're going to make sure we have the EU slash UK slash whatever you want to call it pricing here soon. Uh, Taylor's supposed to help me right after this, actually. Taylor's supposed to help me get all that uploaded into a Google Drive folder that I have. Um, believe it or not, uh, very rudimentary dealing with both uh, Taylor and Jay. Um, and that's not a knock or anything. It's just this is the reality of the situation is that Google Drive is like the easiest place to do this stuff. So, um, yeah. I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, that's where I got it from. Haha. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I don't think, uh, I don't think there's a whole lot that you guys need to know left other than I'm looking forward to it. And I'm really genuinely appreciative that you guys have stuck around for what, seven streams now, um, that you're interested in the board, that you're going to probably buy it. No pressure. If you don't buy it, doesn't mean I, I dislike you or anything like that. That's for sure. Um, it's expensive, I get it. $350 still at the end of the day is is not cheap by any means, and um, I don't want to pressure anybody to, to put themselves in debt for a keyboard. Uh, there will be extras, so no worries there. Um, but I'm just excited, and I think you guys have all the questions answered, and looking forward to seeing your builds, that's for sure. I want to see what you guys do with purple, green, black, blue. Rose gold doesn't interest me as much, but we put it out there because that's what people wanted, so... I'll be curious how many people get Olivia R1 and actually put it on that board. Or the black one. I think that'll look good. Um, but yeah. If you guys want, you can start me off on uh, the normies getting upset at, at Reddit again. I think that's the best way to get me fired up. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't do that. Although my, uh, my comment about... Um, calling reddit a toxic cesspool actually got upvotes believe it or not yet my other comment about my wife's nk65 entry edition i uh, got downvoted because some petty ass gm mk pro owners didn't like that so oh yeah triv triv missed triv missed this um so i'll show this again real fast that's fine let me show fusion and not the toilet flusher no one cares about the toilet flusher uh, right here, monitor one. There you go, Triff. Leaks. Very started. I just literally started this yesterday. Just getting the project underway. Um, but kind of excited about this one for fun. And I did like a Fusion little Fusion tutorial, which is neat. So, uh, no, not 1800. A full size. A true... 104 key full size. That's uh, that's what I'm going for. Um, I was talking about that with uh, ARS Lock um, that we we think there's an untapped market for full size boards and um, and that a lot of people, if we made it reasonably priced, would would probably buy one. So um, that's kind of my starting point. Um, I'm I'm hoping he does send me a Palmetto that we can uh, we can build on stream too some nice boards there like i said the meetup was fun i missed that um i hope that we can do a meetup for a lot of people for sure i think that'll be that'll be huge going forward so and i appreciate your comment by the way uh, on the streams thank you like i said this is all new to me just trying to find my way a little bit um i promise you guys 
Uh, I will never beg for followers or subscribers or any of that shit. Um, I'm just, I don't operate that way. Um, I'm just genuinely appreciative that you guys are here hanging out with me um, and sharing our love for keyboards. Uh, it's, I think that's important. So um, I may never be as big as some of those other top streamers, but I don't care. I just like chilling. And I'm glad that you guys choose to spend your evenings with me occasionally. It means a lot, truly. I genuinely mean that. Um, so thank you. Thank you so much. And of course, if you, uh, shout out to, uh, Carolina Mix, uh, for the awesome new desk mat. I really do like this dragon. I think it looks cool. Um, not that I hated the space mat, but big shout out to them. This has been awesome. And, um, thank you guys so much. Seriously. Strictly chilling. That's right. That's, that's the goal here. Hang out, have a good time. Um, I think I actually, I think I'm probably affiliated after the stream. So, you know, anything on top of this is all gravy. And, and again, um, this is not my job. My job is my actual work selling software. Uh, this I do for fun. And I like having the conversations with you guys. And, um, you know, I like where I'm headed with this. I'm, I like the, I like the idea. I'm going to interview Coob here in the next couple of weeks. Like I still got to get that set up with him. That's going to be exciting. Um, I like that I'm going to build the MB44 on stream. I'm going to build the Coriander on stream when it comes down. I'm really looking forward to that board. Um, and it looks like some other people might start sending. If you want to send me a board? I think Pogos. Uh, Pogos is going to send me a, a normie board to build. But um, yeah, if you guys want that, like hell, if you want me to build a board for you, I'd be happy to do it on stream and talk about your board and talk about how awesome it is and then ship it right back out to you. Yeah, Coriander hype, for sure. Like, I told my wife, I was like, it's made out of Corian, the countertop material. She's like, holy crap, really? I'm like, yeah. And she's like, was it expensive? I said, it's a little expensive, but it's going to be cool. And um, I can't remember if Evan said it came with a PCB. I did end up making sure I have a catch PCB ready to go. Um, but yeah, I think I think I needed this. I don't think it came with a PCB. Uh, but I am super hyped for that board. So, and whatever else I decide to buy in here, you know, soon. Um, to, to build but like i said if there's if you guys want to send me one um i'll split the shipping in half with you and i'll happily build it you send me whatever parts and uh let's do some fun stuff together let's let's have a good time and hang out because that's what we do here so i think it's a good stopping point like i said this was a short one i just want to make sure i got everybody covered before wednesday wednesday 11 a.m eastern 10 a.m central 9 a.m um, mountain time 8 a.m pacific 5 p.m. UK time. I look forward to it. I'm excited. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful night.